قل هذه سبيلي أدعو إلى الله. So Haib from Canada. Um, so my question, I seen like in, your, uh, in, a, in a video a long time ago about uh, uh, whether the khutbah is uh, like some, if someone missed the khutbah and then came immediately for the salah. And it mentioned that uh, you said that there's a consensus among scholars saying that the khutbah would be uh, like your dua wouldn't be invalid, but you will lose a lot of reward. And I see recently that like actually there are much other opinion of people saying that khutbah is actually mandatory. So I was wondering for the people who actually have the argument that it's not mandatory for the Jumu'ah, uh, what is the evidence behind it? What is the what? The evidence, evidence behind. The evidence is mentioned in Surah Al-Jumu'ah, where Allah Azza wa Jal blamed the companions for leaving the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam to attend a caravan that came from Syria and sell and, and, and buy and left him giving the khutbah. And Allah would not blame him for that if it was not mandatory. The evidence is that it is prohibited and the transaction is void when a person buys and sells after the adhan which inaugurates the khutbah. The last adhan, the second adhan, where the imam afterwards start, stands and gives the khutbah. Anyone who deals in selling and buying at that particular time, the transaction is void and the sale is haram. The uh, um, uh, consensus of scholars to my knowledge is that the khutbah is part of the Friday speech, uh, Friday prayers. If a person just stands up and prays to rak'ah of Jum'ah, his prayer is invalid and the prayer of those behind him is also invalid because it was not preceded by two khutbah. So don't listen to people who keep on questioning the fundamentals of Islam and that those of things that the Muslims have been doing all of their lives worldwide. It's not logical to someone saying, okay, what is the evidence uh, uh, that Dhuhr uh, is four rak'ah and not three and not five? And who's questioning these questions? You don't waste your time with such ignorant imbeciles. Leave them alone. Let them be and focus on learning your religion and practicing your religion in peace rather than speak with such people. And have you ever taken a, a counseling session with me? Go to my website and you will find counseling sessions and apply for one. If you can afford it, <laughs> that's good for you. If you cannot, you're entitled for one free session. And this is for everybody. If they can uh, uh, um, affirm by Allah that they cannot afford it because they're poor, I'll give them one free session without a problem, a full half an hour. So come to me and let's speak about it, inshallah, within the following two days or three days. And bi'idhnillah azza wa jal, I will uh, 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 try and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem once and for all bi